Let's do a time rate of consolidation example with multiple questions. Here we have a fill that is going to be placed on top of a clay layer and the clay layer rests over rock. The layer is saturated. The fill has a unit weight of 17 kN per meter cubed. The thickness of the fill is 2 meters and the thickness of the clay layer is 4 meters. We can say that a sample was taken from the middle of the layer to the lab and tests were run on it such that the following parameters were obtained. Coefficient of consolidation, recompression index, compression index, initial void ratio, and pre-consolidation stress. We have two questions. The first one, what is the ultimate settlement? The second one, what is the settlement when the layer has consolidated 50%? Ultimate settlement. The first step is to determine the initial stress, that is at time equals zero, at the point that represents the layer, which is the point in the middle of the layer here. The effective stress initial, that is at time equals zero, is equal to two meters of saturated soil minus two meters of water, because the water table is right there. The second step is to determine the effective stress at time equal infinity, which is the final stress. This is equal to the fill plus 2 meters of saturated soil minus 2 meters of water. The load is therefore the fill which is 54 minus 20, which is 34 kPa, which is 17 times 2. Now we map the stresses so that we can determine what portions of the consolidation settlement equation we need. The pre-consolidation stress was given, 40 kPa. The initial stress, or at time equals zero, it's 20. And the final stress is 54. So 54 is here, 20 is here. The soil will deform like this. Therefore, we have to use both portions of the equation. Let's write it out. Zero point two six eight meters. The second question is, what is the settlement when the layer has consolidated 50%? A layer consolidated 50% means that the average degree of consolidation is 0.5, or 50%. How do we solve that problem? Well, the definition of the degree of consolidation is the settlement at the time in question divided by the ultimate settlement. So if our degree of consolidation is 0.5, average degree of consolidation and we're looking for the settlement knowing this one then we can simply solve for that settlement which is half of that 0 0.134 meters let's add a third question what is the settlement 155 days after field placement For a time of 155 days, the time factor is equal to 0 0.03, which is the coefficient of consolidation, which is given, times 155 days, divided by HDR squared. What is HDR? The longest drainage path. In this case, we have only one drainage boundary, therefore the longest drainage path in this case, is the entire layer thickness, which is 4 meters. So, for us, this is 16, 4 squared. This means that T is equal to 0 0.29. This time factor corresponds to a degree of consolidation, an average degree of consolidation. We can get that with our table. 0.29 is basically this, 0.287. So our U average is 0.6.
0.6 is equal to the settlement at 155 days divided by the ultimate settlement, which we found to be 0.268 meters. Therefore, the settlement at 155 days is 0.268 times 0 0.6, 0 0.161 meters. How about another question? Number four, how long does it take for the layer to consolidate 40%? The time factor for an average degree of consolidation of 0.4 is 0.126. And the time factor is equal to the coefficient of consolidation times the time, which is what we're looking for, divided by HDR squared, 67 days. Another question, number five. How long does it take for the settlement to reach 0.2 meters. If we know the settlement and the ultimate settlement, then we know the average degree of consolidation. 0 0.2, 0 0.268, 0 0.746. Now, if we go to the table, we find that we don't have a value of the average degree of consolidation of 0.746. We can extrapolate, obviously, so the value of the time factor would be between 0.403 and 0.567, but we can also use the following equation. If the average degree of consolidation is larger than 60%, then we can use the following equation. Time factor is equal to 1.781 minus 0 0.933 log of 100 minus the average degree of consolidation expressed as a percentage. So for our problem, zero point four seven. So time factor is equal to C V times T divided by HDR squared two hundred and fifty one days.